This is a demonstration of the speed scripts that I have here in the Robotech for the Q85. And basically, um, I've got some values set here as defined. The first ones up here, the pulse, uh, those are essentially where my thumb wheel or the PWM input signal sort of changes the modes to four different modes. The first mode here is what I consider sort of a slow mode. And basically, I know it says, you know, there's 20,000, 28,000. Those are actually just 2,000 and 2,800. Uh, the way it translates it into the actual controller, it drops the zeros there. So um, you have to basically write them out this way, and then they'll populate in the acceleration uh, max uh, and deceleration. As you'll see, I'll go to the configuration tab here. And you can see there. So right there, that was actually a... When I had it at a fast rate, and you can see the max speed RPM. If I load from controller, because I've changed the uh, thumb wheel, it'll basically pull up where I have the thumb wheel set on my joystick here. As you can see, it, it uploads. So if I were to adjust this higher or lower, I can go ahead and load from controller, as long as the script is running. And it will basically tell me my new value, whatever I have it set to. Over here, you wanna make sure that the, uh, in the startup, that the auto script is enabled, and that'll allow it to boot up every time and run the script. Um, also, you, you can hit this run script button here. Um, when you're loading the scripting, you're gonna to have to basically use this load to device and then run. And when you come over here to the configuration tab, uh, actually the run tab, you'll see where it has the run script and the it's red. And right now I'm using the pulse inputs from the joystick here. So you can also see on the pulse in the script value here. And as I move my thumb wheel, that will change and that's basically you can calibrate that so that's all the way one direction about 2000 all the way down to about 900 to 900 99 2000 and as i wrote move that thumb wheel basically that will input uh, the change to three so i'll go ahead and go down to the lowest and i'm going to go into the I selected a few parameters here. So haul speed, RPM, motor ramps for one and two, and then the loop error down at the bottom here. I've adjusted the loop integration and um, proportional gain in the configuration tab here to about five on the P and about two on the I. And I've had two, um, actually that was zero on the eye previously. And I noticed I had high errors basically as the reaction. So uh, I sort of moved that up higher and higher to where it sort of had less error as I you know, move the joystick position around. And this is just with the wheels up essentially. So that may change a little bit when I have them on the ground. But basically that um, integration sets a time sort of to correct um, this, the basic value you're giving it um, in, in proportion with the gain itself. And at that point, it'll sort of try to basically pull it back closer to where your, your command value is, which is going to be from your, um, your PWM input from your joystick. So um, that's just a tuning parameter you can use and, you know, to get your uh, get it responding a little bit better and you can make that lower or higher and just sort of figure out um, where you're at. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got my wheels up, I'm going to go ahead and do joystick forward and you're going to see the hull, the RPM for the hull is going to match basically my scripted value which I have at 1600 and the motor amps there you see is about two amps and then my loop, as you see my loop error is fairly low as I modulate this around. Now as I go into, if I can do this with one hand here, if I go into a different mode with my, or I can't do that with two hands here. If I move the thumb wheel up a little bit and go up into my next script value, 
it's going to hit the next RPM range, which I have set at about 2300. So you'll see that, and you can see my loop error is relatively low in responding to joystick value. Now as I continue up to my third mode, go to my next script value, once I hit it, there we go, which is about 3000. And you can see my loop error is fairly low as I move that until it sort of settles out to the position. And then here's the highest one I have set. It's gonna be about 4,500. And I've noticed even if I set my value higher for my max RPM, um, basically what I've got is I think the highest that these, the hall sensors were actually um, going to go is about 4,500 RPM. So that's with it set to 5,000 or higher. It seems like that's sort of the fastest top end speed uh, for this that, that will go. Um, also, you can see that even though I have it set to the highest value, it's still showing a lower value here. That's because I need to basically up refresh the data. And I can say load from controller and it'll pop up the information that's, you know, it's reading currently. Um, and again, this is all in my scripting. So if I use a tab here, go into my script, and those are the values set there, which I can alter and kind of play with just to get the driving experience that I want. Uh, that's kind of a simulation there of that. And then driving is just a matter of your preference for the modes. And um, I'll go down and show you the wheels up situation here. So. it for now.